Uh, Mr. Chairman, Madam Executive Secretary, uh, distinguished panellists, Your Excellencies, we are gathered here today at this round table to discuss this, this most excellent book full of nuggets, full of positive practices, full of best practice to discuss the promise of protection, the promise that citizens will be more productive and more prosperous, the promise of more stable societies, that by bringing together disparate groups, we will create social harmony, and the promise of a better future for all of us. So with that spirit in mind, and inspired by His Excellency, the Prime Minister, to be informal, shall we come together and share best practice in a positive spirit, share the treasures that we have discovered individually in our countries so that across the region we may benefit. Yes, are we happy with that? I'm going to ask Dr. Monkon now. Um, Thailand is a middle-income country, and yet you've managed to achieve something which many very rich countries don't achieve, which is a universal health care system, free for all. It is a tremendous achievement. How have you managed to do it? Actually, it's a, it's a very uh, long answer. It will take about three days. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in short... I want the short answer, Dr. Monkan. <laughs> I think uh, the, the first one is the political and financial commitment. Thank you very much. So let's involve some of our eminent excellencies. For instance, China too, in the last decade, has made an enormous progress with its health care. And I think it practically reaches 100% of the population, well over a billion people, in a very short time. I'm going to ask Assistant Minister Wu to give us his comments. Sir. We have made continuous adjustment of policies and worked out policies for different groups. We have introduced the new cooperative rural medical system and basic urban medical insurance system. This has also increased the participants of our social security insurance programs. Uh, His Excellency Sir Hel Mahmood is with us, I believe. Um, Pakistan has uh, suffered so many natural disasters and shocks, and there's been a real multi-agency approach to dealing with it. Can you tell us a little bit about um, the social welfare approach to these shocks in Pakistan, sir? Yes. Most certainly, I thank you for inviting me also for this. Uh, in the wake of the natural disaster last year, which was... The focus of these programs is paid employment, or helping people who are not in paid employment, which reminds me, as you were speaking, of the Indian National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme, which has very successfully, in the last few years, stepped in to help people in the fallow months in India's many villages. I'm going to ask our esteemed guests from India to tell us about the Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme and generally about India's social protection programs. Thank you, Nisha. Um, yes, that's right. Um, Madam Executive Secretary also mentioned the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme. And there's a very interesting scheme that I was reading about in the book uh, that's going on in Kazakhstan. I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about the uh, scheme that you have in Kazakhstan, the targeted social assistance program to help people with minimum, uh, whose incomes fall below a minimum level to make sure that they have a minimum basic and about your social welfare programs in general. Okay, um, thank you very much. Well, um, we increased recently by 30% uh, the maternity allowance for, for the, for the um, for, for working mothers who um, stay on maternity leave. Uh, and, and I have to say, I'm, I myself am a beneficiary of that, um, of that program because I recently had uh, twins. So um, I, can, <laughs> I, can, um, I can assure you that, that, that it is working. Um, Congratulations. <laughs> and thank you very much for sharing um, the very many programs that are going on on a, on, a, uh, on a rather personal level and making it real for us. Um, shall we hear from Bangladesh? Ah, 
Hello, Ambassador. Where there's been a huge transformation in the role of women because of, and the position of women because of social welfare programs. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about that and other things. Thank you very, very much for giving me this opportunity. Uh, uh, following the good example set by others, I'll try and be as brief as, uh, uh, po uh, as possible. Uh, I mean, I won't go into the, uh, 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 dazzling you with statistics. So we've heard about uh, democratic systems, we've heard about targeted programs, we've heard about universal programs, and we've heard about inclusive development in the course of this regional round table. Lots of good ideas, lots of common ideas as well. I'm going to hand over to our Executive Secretary, Madam Executive Secretary, Dr. Hazer, for her concluding remarks. Thank you very much, Nisha.